Thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we are boarding group letters A, B, and C. If you are sitting in groups A, B, or C, you are welcome to board at this time. If you are traveling business, Elite Plus Elite, or Star Alliance Gold members, you are welcome to board from your right-hand side. Just in case. <laughs> So call back tomorrow and that's the same answer I got today call back tomorrow I don't seem too concerned about it so I'm not sure we should be all that concerned we can always throw rocks at the Ibex if we ever get to leave the hotel who's going to be hunting with you yeah. and if they have any guns available but yeah uh, get a slingshot we'll probably find that out today yeah I'm not so good with a slingshot no. We're throwing rocks. Can, you, can they get me that close? I can hit them with a rock. I shot a shame out of my Because of better conditions, I told you. We have a better chance. Yeah, it's if we tough. Stay. It's hard to get them, but if we stay, next day probably we can get a nice one. Okay, let's stay. Yeah. Let's stay. All right, we finally made it. Excited. Said nothing under 45, so that's even better. Yeah, okay. But 40 is really, <laughs> we can do it better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. to get started hunting Bizor Ibex here in beautiful Turkey. It looks pretty rugged. We've got less than optimal weather, but we're gonna give it a shot. Well, we're going to pack up from this camp and uh, head back down. The fog's pretty thick. We had a couple inches of snow last night. They don't think they're going to be back up where we were looking yesterday. So uh, we'll work our way back down. There's another valley they want us to check. And uh, maybe we can get below this fog level and, and see where, where, where they're hanging out or bedding. They've got a couple different groups that bed in a couple different areas. One in particular they call Goofy, which I think we're going to go around and look for that one tomorrow. This is the 5.15 a.m. call to prayer. Luckily we were already up at like 2 this morning. But pretty interesting. to go over to well back home.
we've got two really nice ibex up here on this face. There's ibex all on the, both these mountainsides. It's unbelievable. But one is really, really big. They're excited. They start making all these noises that end in shh, which means they're big. So uh, this one seems to be wide and long. So maybe we'll get a closer look at it. And Welcome, nice one we can put to bed and shoot in the morning or maybe go after today. No problem. No problem. We are gonna find another one, don't you? We're gonna go to another place so we had some exactly. Don't record over that shot. I thought I made a really good shot on it. It's about 250 yards away, 230. It was walking slightly downhill. And I don't know, we got two different camera angles on it. And one looks like I shot high, one looks like I might have hit it. But either way, they ran off and they've laid down again. So it's kind of odd to me that they laid down, but they're saying that's they stay with the group and this one's still in the group. So we'll come back and check this spot out in the morning and everyone misses and it was definitely my turn. So we'll see you tomorrow. Ibex hunting take two, about to head back up the mountain. It's really cold this morning, but as fast as these guys climb, I think we're gonna warm up pretty quick. So hopefully this time we can make it happen. We can see the Ibex, so we're gonna go to a little bit different vantage point, set up the spot and scope and see if we can tell which direction they're going and try to cut them off. Breathe, breathe. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on, hold on. You hit him. You hit him. Good hit shot. Him. <laughs> Good <laughs> shot. <laughs> Talk about the lowest of low and the highest of highs. I thought we climbed to the top of this mountain for me to miss again. Very good Ooh. shot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like almost eleven. Unbelievable experience. A lot of work went into this. I mean, it took a team of guys to do it. I let them down last night with a relatively close shot, and then was lucky enough to get it on a long distance shot today. I couldn't be happier. It look like I'm gonna kiss it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Experience as we hunted Bezoar Ibex in Turkey. Unbelievable.